Hello and welcome back to sessions on Amadeus with Traveloc at B English. My name is Gaurav Gera. And today we're going to be discussing about uh, how to add the names in 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 a uh, you know in a PNR. So previously if you haven't seen the uh, videos that we have done, we have covered a lot of uh, things till now like we have covered encoding decoding and then how to create a PNR, how to check availability, how to pick a seed and now is the next level and we are doing everything in very detailed uh, manner that is why it is taking us time uh, to make videos one by one. Uh, we, this is this is the second channel that we have created. Uh, this is Travel Academy English. One channel that we have is Travel Academy, uh, and we have been uh, requested a lot of times. We have got a request from a lot of people around the world who could not understand the language uh, uh, because it was in Hindi. So we created this channel in English, and we hope this will help a lot of people around the world and uh, for specifically to those who do not understand Hindi because English is widely accepted everywhere now. Uh, we also have a telegram channel in case you have uh, you know if you want to increase your knowledge enhance your knowledge in terms of geography ayata and um, otherwise you can play quiz over there daily we have a question daily over there you can uh, check it you can check the whether you are how, how good you are in travel uh, knowledge and uh, you can you can always uh, uh, like the or follow the channels the, the pages that we have on instagram and facebook so that you can stay updated uh, on the latest news and updates and again if you like this video you can hit the like button share it with people who really are from the industry or want to get into it subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon not now if you like this video that is where uh, you can do it now today we'll learn how to how to add names in a pnr so to how to add names is a really simple task the only thing which is important here is to understand how uh, how do we you know how do we classi classify them so for example let me show you over here as per uh, airlines there are three types of passengers one is an adult an adult is somebody who is above the age of 12 years and this person who is above the age of 12 uh, pays 100% of the fare so there is no discount 100% fare is paid by this person because he or she is an adult as per airlines then you have the second classification which is a child a child is somebody who is below the age of 12 or rather you can say that uh, somebody who is between 2 to 11 years and as per ayata if i say this person needs to pay 67 percent 200 percent of the fare depending on different situation airlines the type of flights and the age of the child uh, which means uh, i would say generally they get 25 percent discount this is what i've seen in my career most of uh, the child most of the children will get 25 percent of the discount on the flights then you have infant infant is the third category where exactly if i tell you their age is from four days to two years they vary between these uh, this uh, timeline and uh, there are two types of infants one is an inf which is an infant on lap infant on lap is somebody who will be traveling with an adult and uh, will be sitting on the lap or basically there is something called a baby bassinet so this person this uh, small child sits in that uh, baby bassinet or the lap of the passenger if bassinet is not uh, available and pays only 10 percent basically this person gets uh, you know 90 percent discount this this infant if you are traveling within uh, us uh, most of the bookings that I have made in the past, uh, it is generally free of cost. In US, you don't have to pay for uh, an infant on lap. But if you're traveling internationally or you're traveling outside US, then you have to pay around, uh, you know, 10% of the total fare of the adult. Then you have infant on seat. This, this infant is sitting on a seat just like a child or just like an adult. So this person, this infant will be paying a child fare. 
and again a child fare is around 67 to 100 percent depending on different scenarios so there might be a scenario where an infant will be paying uh, the same price as of an adult because if the person has to pay 100 percent is going to be same for adult and infant so adult child infant infant are of two types generally you will see this uh, being entered while you are making the reservation so this is what we have in uh, the uh, travel industry if you look at the uh, adult and child and infant when we will be entering these uh, types of passengers there are different commands that we use and uh, let's move to amadeus to now enter these commands now one thing before we move to amadeus i wanted to tell you is that you know what happens is uh, an infant on lap is not considered as a separate uh, passenger for example uh, uh, an adult will be occupying a seat child will be occupying a seat infant on on f uh, seat will be occupying a seat but infant on lap will not be occupying a seat so airlines sees this like an opportunity because if the seat is not going to be occupied someone else can sit on that seat and that is why they, they do not consider this to be a separate passenger so if let's say there is one adult one child and one infant traveling they will consider this to be two passengers traveling adult and child and not infant reason being that uh, infant is not going to occupy the seat and that is where airlines can uh, you know capitalize on that specific situation so that's uh, going to be two passenger traveling at a time over here now you why i told you this this is specifically for amadeus in uh, saber you have a separate command but for in amadeus what happens is that an adult is always an infant is always associated with an adult so the entry for adult and infant is generally together it is not different it is not separate now let's make a pnr let's make a pnr for uh, uh, let's add names basically we want to add two adults plus one child plus one infant on lap let's say this is what we want to add now if you see in total you will find there are two plus one plus one four passengers but while we are entering this thing in in amadeus we will consider this to be three passengers because an infant on lap will not be considered as a passenger and will be associated with the adult right so let's start uh, the entry it's really simple like uh, again you know when you are in aviation industry in a hotel or any uh, like even if you are in hotel industry or aviation industry what happens is that the names are written in the uh, uh, you know reverse order the last name comes first and the first name comes after that so nm1 is the command nm is the command to enter names in amadeus now if you enter one it means you're going to enter one name in this command if you enter two that means that you are enter you will enter two different names in one command we will learn this thing only we will learn how to enter one name at a time because this reduces the chances for us to do a mistake because a lot of people do mistakes while entering name and and what happens is if the name is wrong uh you know uh, the whole because airlines does not allow to allow anybody to change names some airlines allow to correct it but uh, uh, you know it is really important it is a very sensitive uh, part while you're making the reservation so it is really important to be uh, very sure while you're entering it in case you are talking to a customer on call it is always advisable to uh, you know uh, you know say this say the name in a very uh, with the help of phonetics so for example if the name is uh, let's say sean so a uh, sean uh, this name can be written as this or it can be written in this way so that depends how you write it so let's say uh, someone's name last name let's start with the last name let's say the last name is jacob so nm1 and then jacob slash first name is sean and then the middle name is m so look at this first you have the last name then slash you have the first name and then the middle name so 
this is how you will be adding a name last name slash first name space middle name if there is one if there is no middle name you can leave it then you have space and you can put a title let's say mr mr is title you could put a bracket you do adt adt belongs to adult so this means that this person who is traveling is an adult in case you would remove this it is still going to accept the entry and it will take it as uh, adult automatically so by default it will take this passenger as adult if you do not put any code over here so but we will put in this case so mr and then without a space you do brackets open adt bracket closed and you press enter so you look at this the first name is there in this reservation jacob sean m mr so the name is basically sean m jacob this is adult alone now we want one adult sorry we wanted two adults one child and one infant now let's add the entry of uh, an in and uh, a child let's say so it's very simple you do nm1 again and then let's say the last name is again the same jacob and the first name is john so again the john is this or this depending on the uh, passenger and because you will be on the call it is really important that you talk to the passenger and say okay so it's j for uh, juliet o for oscar h for hotel n for nancy we have a navy call list in travel industry and that is being shared in the telegram channel in case you want to go through it you can join that channel so nm1 jacob slash john and then th there is no middle name let's say so you just put a bracket over here and you put chd now when you put chd you can also put a slash and you can enter the date 23rd june uh, let's say 2018 and you can close the bracket now look at this the date is generally in this format so nm1 last name slash first name bracket chd is the code of a child slash the date of birth of the passenger of the child 23rd june 2018 in this case you press enter and you see it's over here so one is an adult one is a child now you can add um, another adult but as i told you uh, we will only be entering entering three names i mean three uh, commands we will be entering three commands over here reason being uh, infant is not considered as a separate passenger it is always associated with the adult when it comes to amadeus now so nm1 the last name is jacob that's the family name slash the first name let's say is um, carolina that's the first name you need to associate this passenger with an adult so you put a you open the bracket you do inf inf is basically for an infant and then if there is a last name you enter a last name but if the last name is same you can remove it and you can just put a slash and you can enter the name of the baby an infant someone who is below the age of two uh, let's say the name is paul and then you put a slash and then you enter the date of birth of this passenger make sure it is below the age of two especially uh, if you compare it with the date of departure sometimes you know while you're booking the passenger the, the infant is uh, in less than uh, two but then uh, if you compare it with the date of departure or maybe the date of coming back um, uh, you know the, the the passenger the infant becomes a child in that case we consider that uh, passenger to be a child not an infant the fare will be you know uh, taken uh, with respect to the uh, you know we will take this passenger as a child so the fear will be of a child and not of an infant in case uh, on the flight of arrival or uh, while coming back on the, on the flight when this person is departing the first flight and the second flight th if this person if the small uh, you know infant becomes a child on that date we will consider this person to be a child and not an infant for example if let's say this flight let's say this is 20th 23 July 2020 so if the flight that we have is on 24th July 2022 which means this infant has become a child now because he is uh, 
is now two years and one day in that case we will consider this to be a child and not an infant the fear that will 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 be coming out will be of a child and not of an infant so that's an important thing or let's say while coming back while going this person is an infant but while coming back this person becomes a child this infant becomes a child so uh, in that case also we will consider uh, it as a child for going back and coming uh, for going there and coming back so that's a really uh, important thing to understand uh, in some cases what people do is that they make a uh, you know two way uh, flights while going back so they they make two one ways while going back this baby is an infant and while coming back this baby becomes a child so in that case you will have two separate pnrs only then you will be considered as an infant while going out in case you are taking a round trip a round trip is a trip where you have both the flights in one uh, pnr in that case if the baby if the infant is becoming a child let's say uh, while coming back you will have to consider that baby as a child and not as an infant now so the command is nm1 jacob is a last name slash carolina this is the adult brackets open inf slash the name of the baby slash the date of birth here you need to make sure it is less than two years you press enter now you see you have three passengers over here in case there is a infant on seat you will need to enter nm1 last name slash let's say the first name is sean or uh, let's say uh, robert and you open this bracket and you do ins this is infant on seat slash the date of birth so this is how we add names when it comes to uh, different passengers in amadeus and then you can simply uh, pick up the flights with an command that we did in the previous uh, sessions so if you're coming here for the first time it is really advisable that you go through the uh, commands that we did before this session now that's all that we have in this session in case you have any question you can write down in the comment box or if you have any suggestion or uh, you know if you have understood this topic please do let us know that you are able to understand this which really motivates us and uh, helps us in making uh, more video thank you so much for watching this video till here and if you like this you can subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon i'll see you in the next video uh, bye bye